Bay say that's the way to do it. Burning our trash right now. But at the same time burning the trash, I'm sitting here thinking about our mindset. Like, my guys were telling me that we got a lot of bougie soldiers in this. We got a, little, a lot of bougie soldiers in the game. A lot of bougie soldiers for the kingdom. And it was deep because I did everything in my power to apply for a home loan. But due to people's jealousy, people started putting out stupid videos about me that were complete lies. And people would not rent to me. People were doing background checks on me. Um, they were like, well, we saw something about you on the internet and we're not comfortable. So I got denied for home loans and rentals due to defamation of character. But it was cool because I didn't want to be anywhere at all that God did not want me to be. And what I found myself doing is being in a space where I just surrendered. And even in the space, thanks babe, even in the space of just surrendering, I found myself here on my homestead, on my property. We came here, we got our little barn. And it's different too, because going from a sky riser with like just complete free utilities to just off the grid is, is deep because you never realize just how much water you waste, how much you have to dispose of your trash. We have to burn our trash. This is our oasis right here where God has truly blessed us. Not blessed us, but we're blissful just in what's around us. Let me show you. The guy came and he cleared up this part of the road. Um, I'll be downloading some more episodes of the House of L for you all. That's where the other tiny home is going to go when it comes today. So I'm excited about the things that are being done, not just in my life, but the things that God is prepping us for. This is really muddy and slippery which is cool because I wanted to see what this was like going down into that, which is still good with me because I got the rock guy coming to put some more rocks down. But there's a tiki over there, way smack off back yonder right there. And that's where I plan on exchanging my vows with my DM. And this is also going to be a very sacred space. Last night we began to go in and chant and do our affirmations and mantras and we were praying to God and next thing you know we heard pow, 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 pow. We heard the thunder and it sounded like lightning just struck the land. I was like, well, if there's any demonic spirits or anything that wasn't right, you know, here at all, it's gone. But irregardless, I was told to chime in with y'all and talk to y'all about being bougie soldiers. There's a lot of y'all who are bougie soldiers, who, oh, a mound, interesting. From what I understand and from what I'm being told is that it's like, when we found out that we weren't going to go to a house house, that we were actually going to move on just nothing but raw acreage, raw land. I'll show you guys pictures at the end, what it completely looked like. Like it was completely dead in here. And it shifted from just brown grass to just this greenery. And this is from us praying and us anointing the land. This is definitely going to be a spiritual retreat. And... It's a place of healing. It's a place of awakening. It's a place of enlightenment. It's a place of empowerment. It's a place for God and for God's people. 
And trust me, we know how to discern and how to test the spirits. Be very mindful of trickster spirits and trickster energies that want to come in to deceive you in this hour. All right, so now that I showed y'all the lamb, let's go sit down and talk about being a bougie soldier because it's very vital that you hear about this and I want to be able to focus on y'all at the same time watching myself from any unnecessary predators. Let's go ahead and walk over here. I just got this road put in as well. And I'm gonna get more rocks put on that road up there because there's no rocks over there at all for a driveway. Um, so, bougie soldiers. When we first came here, we were so used to like, we even had those push lights where we were just turning on the push lights or we'd leave the battery on all night. And although I had a bag full of batteries, I heard my guide say no more batteries for anybody because we were so used to leaving the lights on that we're wasteful and it's not cool. Especially at a time where the world is experiencing so much of a shortage. But from what I was told is that a lot of y'all is crying and complaining about what it is that you don't have or the environments that you're in because you're spoiled. You're used to things being a certain way. You're used to having this or having that. But right now, it's about a separation of the self. Like literally being in a space where you're going to surrender to life. You're going to surrender to the all, to the great I am presence. I am so glad. People had no clue that when I left my tarot business and I walked away from my Sky Riser, they were offering free rent and everything. And I was like, nah, this is a setup. But when I walked away, when I left, we put all of our things inside of a pod. And when we put our things in a pod, we drove straight to a hospital and sat there in the parking lot. And I was officially homeless. And it just kicked in. And I was like, dang, I'm like literally officially homeless. And I could have gone back to my apartment and everything. But I made a decision that I was not going to. I even was friends with a maintenance guy and had him hold my key for two weeks before I was sure, sure that that's what I was going to do before, you know, I reported that I was, I'm completely moved out. <clears throat> I was just showing you a little, I did this as well. We're going to clean all that up. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. These were already here in the ground. When I put this here, it literally started scaring unwelcome and unwanted guests off of the property. So let's talk here. Your burdens, where you're at, what you think that you don't have, you have it. People don't even have food to eat. They don't have clothes to wear. They don't have a roof over their head, but you have it. And what God was showing us here is that we may be in a barn, we, we're in a tent, we're, in, we're on air mattresses. And what God was telling us before we came here, because <clears throat> excuse me, we had a hard time just leaving the Airbnb that we're in because we knew there was going to be no power and we were afraid moving up here. I kid you not, we would hear deers at night and we would wake up speaking in tongues because we thought they were demons or it could have been, shoot, we don't know, but we got a lot of training, let's put it like that. God just completely came in. It looks like a totally different place from, if you guys look at the first episode of the House of El that I posted, the video, the promised land, this is completely different. And there's so much more that's going to be done here. There's so much more way at the back of the property that I didn't even get to show y'all yet with the caves and the rocks and the streams. But at first I was rejecting this because I didn't understand it and it didn't look like this at first this is why i'm showing you this the beauty of all this it did not look this way i'm gonna clean all that up it's a lot of work guys it's 20 acres it's a lot of work and it's me by myself my dm showed up and he's been assisting he truly has led me besides the still water y'all my soul 
has been truly restored. When God was telling me that we're bougie soldiers or I was dealing with bougie soldiers, it was deep to me because I completely get it. I understand like where that was coming from, where God was coming from with that because some of us, all of us are, are actually used to a certain way of life. And it's deep too because American soldiers, next to my sky riser where I was staying, next door to us, the Hyatt was shut down for the soldiers, the military to stay there in the hotel. And I feel like that's a lot of us, like even the military in your family or the military of your own mind. A lot of y'all would never walk away from a quarter million dollar business to be homeless, to sit at a hospital parking lot to just wait on the voice of God. But I did. My cat is spoiled, <laughs> so she's just meowing because it's an adjustment for her as well. It's an adjustment for the pets. Even the dog I got. The dog is bougie. The dog is like, wait, what is this? The dog barely got out the car for the first few days. And now she's out the car running around and jumping and hugging everybody. I feel like whatever change you're going through out there, whatever adjustment, whatever adaptive energies that you're having to adapt to, I feel very strongly that you're good. It's a matter of accepting the new. Accepting the fact that the old life will no longer be. We're in complete new energies now. We're around completely new friends, completely new family, new loved ones. Our spiritual family is our true family. It was written truly that our true spiritual family will be those who keep the ordinance, ordinances and the word of God Almighty. Someone asked me, what God am I talking about? I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, my God. Those other gods are demigods with little Gs. No power to them. They're subservient to my God. It was interesting because even seeing this right here, knowing that there's gonna be, you know, the water shortages that are coming and knowing just like it says in the Bible, that we will get our water from the heavens. Our waters have truly come in from the heavens. Our waters are healing waters. It's interesting because I was so used to living in our luxurious life. But at the same time, it was a little uncomfortable for me because it was, the people inside the building were just mean, mean-spirited. And I don't care what's that beautiful. If your heart is not right, you can be dressed up but messed up, as God kept saying. There's a lot of people that are dressed up and messed up, and not just in the church. This is in your workplaces. This is in your own family. This is in your own lives. This is in your own friendship circles. But most importantly, where are you right now? I hear the water at the back of the stream as well. Just flowing. Where are you in your own spiritual walk, your own personal affirmations with God Almighty. I feel very strongly that a lot of y'all have made packs with people about what you are going to do and what you're not going to do. It's like you even promise people certain packs about your own happiness. And my thing is, why would anyone want you to promise anything about your own happiness? You're the one that's going to have to live that life. You're the one that's going to have to walk in your shoes every single day. So those people that you're around, they're not even going to be there for you. When you truly need them the way that God is presenting love to his people right now. God is love. God is all around us. I've seen too many people go down in life, miss out on their life, miss out on opportunities because they were so busy trying to please somebody else. They're so busy trying to make someone else happy, trying to live up to someone else's dreams, goals, you know, aspirations, affirmations without realizing like, hey, every day is truly a gift. And because every day is truly a gift, we must honor that as such and honor the things that God is presenting to us. 
I'm looking at myself like, you know, I may not have a house house like everybody else got approved for a home loan and moved into a house. But at the same time, that was the best thing that could have happened to me was for me to be granted 20 acres of land instead, you know, mortgage free. Here it is. All these people are inside of a home. They just got three hundred fifty thousand, five hundred fifty thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand dollar home loans. And the housing bubble is about to burst and pop like never before. The dollar is about to crash. People are not going to have any money at all to pay for those places. But God, because I kept my mind and my eyes and my spirit stayed upon God, and I made the sacrifice to God and God only, I am here. It's deep too because even meeting my divine masculine, he is very much a beautiful amazing soul and he's a lot like me matter of fact he is me but what's deep about it is like i would have never met him if i would have stayed on the wrong path because trust me there's a lot of decepticons who came along that tried to deceive me and they knew what god promised me so a lot of people showed up in my DM's place claiming that, you know, they were here in the name of love. But what I truly realized is that when you choose someone else or when you choose someone else over God, that person is always going to choose someone else over you. I have made it up in my mind that it doesn't matter to me what I'm a part of in life if that man is not in a contract with God. If that job, if that business, if that friendship is not God first, I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm good. I've realized that people are very deceitful and spiteful and vindictive and manipulative in their hearts. But I chose not to be a part of that world. So in this space of creating my own world, I'm sharing it. But in sharing it, there are some things that I must point out. Like, for example, we're so wasteful. We're used to being wasteful. How many times you threw away a whole plate of food? How many times you let food just spoil and just go rotten? Like, you could just walk up right now and probably just turn the heater on in your place. We have to... Sometimes it gets below freezing temperatures, but at the same time, we pray, and then God brings heat and warmth into the place. Last night, we were praying, and as we were praying, right smack in the middle of us praying, we heard lightning just go... Pow, 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 pow. And that was in the middle of us praying. And we started praying louder. And like it just pumped us up. And we just saw angels surrounding us. Our babies are speaking in tongues. They speak in tongues for hours. God said that there's a lot of bougie soldiers out there. Too bougie for the kingdoms. Y'all got on nails. Nails destroy the body. You got on hair weaves. Hair, hair weaves destroy the antennas in the hair destroys the mind. A lot of y'all die fried to chemicalizing your hair, which also causes a whole nother energy. A lot of people are afraid when you are coming with the real because so, so many people are used to living in this illusionary world that when you begin to tell them the truth and you present to them the true affirmations as to what's really going down, what's really happening, it's too heavy for a lot of people. But this is the hour where it is the hour of truth. There are no more lies. And God is presenting his people with several opportunities right now. And trust me, when, he, when I say that it's just like when God presented this land to me and we didn't want to come here at first because we were just like, okay, this is cool. But, you know, we love our Airbnb with our heat, you know, with our Wi-Fi. And when I heard God say, okay, you can stay here. Do you want me to give it to somebody else? I was like, no, God, no. And God is absolutely right. I thought I was going to go into a house or a home, but at the same time, I know to surrender. I know to submit. I know to be humble and surrender to what God has given me or else God's going to give it to someone else. And I feel like a lot of y'all take a lot of y'all spaces and people and opportunities and jobs and material things for granted because you feel like it's always going to be with you. But a lot of y'all are preparing, have prepared for the right now. You have not prepared for the future. And if you prepare it for the future, you prepare it for the future with one thing. You didn't have backup upon backup upon backup. It was deep because my whole identity got breached. And when my identity got breached, it was cool because I had LifeLock. 
I have LifeLock. And LifeLock is like, oh, don't worry about it. You're covered up to $1 million if anybody ever even try to try anything at all. You're good. We will replace everything. I had in protection measures. Same as that exact thing when I backed into a tree when I hit my car and I started singing. I have full coverage insurance and I still do. Car insurance. I have protection measures put in place. What protection measures do you have put in place for your future? The only thing that's going to protect you is your relationship with God Almighty. But a lot of y'all is too bougie. Too bougie for this walk. We're right smack in the midst of the Battle of Armageddon. The world's most greatest talked about battle of all times the battle that our ancestors were speaking of y'all not ready for this y'all get a little mud on you I'm, I'm limping around with a, a little hurt knee but at the same time i know i can lay hands on myself and i'm healed i don't have to run to the doctor because i'm my first doctor i diagnose myself first we are our own medicine men we are our own medicine women god said i will give you the power to lay hands on yourself and to heal yourself but a lot of y'all have put your trust in the soothsayers in the the real pharmacists which, which are the magi magicians the doctors are the magicians that's why the snake is on the staff the caduceus that comes from royalty or royal bloodline of ancient ancient history ancient artifacts indian dogon technology nomo technology Queen Elizabeth knew that. Her whole empire knew that. They used that whole entire system to deceive the world. Many of you are deceived by temporary illusionary factors that you feel are always going to be there. You don't want to walk away from your temporary spaces of comfort. And trust me when I say that, God said that your comfort will definitely be snatched from up under you. So God has given a lot of y'all a chance right now to be placed in a whole nother position of comfort before he snatches away that comfort but y'all too comfortable in them zones and a lot of y'all allowed family to make decisions about your own life friends make decisions about your own life and know they don't want you to go forward to be with someone else or to be happy with someone else because they don't have you around any longer to drain your energy now it's interesting how so many other people have say so's and affirmations about your own life i don't know if you can see that or not but there's a spider web there a spider web it's symbolic of wealth I don't know if you can see that but I see it symbolic of wealth we see bugs around all the time you know where I'm at oh yeah all kind of little critters around but I don't go run and kill them this is their natural environment they were here first who are we to take someone else's life thou shall not kill but a lot of y'all got guns you don't realize that you're gonna run out of bullets until you really, really get it that you are the gun and become the gun, you're going to walk in utter confusion until you stand in that knowing. That is true power. And what's even deeper about, I don't know what's going on with the old guard or the old church system, but it's like everybody start patting a tamarind and jumping up and down. Anytime God would say, oh, prosperity's coming through. But the second God is like, it's time to go through a test. He'd be like, oh, no, you go ahead. You do it first. I don't know. That's, that's uncomfortable for me. That's, that's out of my element. No, you're going to be taken out of your element. Keep playing with God if you want to. He who has cre created, he who has beyond, began a great work in me shall be faithful to complete it. I'm a soldier in this. I don't care what anyone says. I was born for this. My middle name is DNA. That means DNA, like the molecule. molecule straight up, I was born for this. DNA coded for this. God Almighty is my God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And the tongue that rises up against me in judgment, then thou shalt condemn. Because the Lord truly is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restored my soul, y'all. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. I'm telling y'all, no matter what's going on in the world, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, none. It gets pitch black here at night dark you can't even see none of this at night it's just utterly black y'all because we're completely off the grid i have another waterfall way on the other side of my property and where the branch runs off to this side and the stream comes through a lot of times you run out of water and i have to come down here and fetch the water for us it's different. 
And at first we kept running to the store buying water. And now we're at the point to where we're learning the system of even our own lands. You know, these are native lands. This is right here. I'm right smack right here on my property is right where the trail of tears started. And God said, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Oh, no, God's people are not going to be removed at all ever again. And I just feel like a lot of y'all got to take y'all nails off. A lot of y'all got to, you know, be willing to get your boots muddy. Look at my boots. Remember my Harleys? I used to always rock. They are muddy as I don't know what. Look, muddy. <laughs> but at the same time, too. I still clean off my boots, do my best when I go out to not look like I'm in a war. A lot of y'all look like you've been in a war and you ain't even got no war. You haven't even experienced no war, no even scratching of the surface for no war. God said too many of y'all is just bougie soldiers. It's like you're used to your nails. You used to your hair done a certain way. You used to dating a certain man. You used to dating a certain woman. You used to having or being treated a certain way with your job. You used to rolling your cars, your fanciness. Even if you roll the bus, you're still bougie. I've never heard of a soldier spending the night in a hotel before he fights a war. Any of God's soldiers, they are right smack in the middle of enemy territory, untouched unapologetically. We on the grounds, y'all. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground, for real. But what I love about everything is being in a place of acceptance and saying, you know what? If God did not want me to have this or that, or if God had me walk away from this or that, then it was God's will. And I accept that. What I notice is that it's when y'all fight more against things is when it does not flow or does not come through for you. Stop fighting it. There's no reason for y'all to be fighting anything. When you go with the flow, you're gonna truly learn that the flow is actually where it's at. We were able to put House of L out there on a big rock in front of our property. House of L Estates. We're able to name our own streets. All these streets you see, I just made these streets. I'm able to name all the streets I want to on all the 20 acres. It goes way back, way back, and way over there. And that's far beyond having a home or, you know, not being able to name my own street. Beware of the counterfeit, y'all. There's a lot of things out there camouflaged. This is what this tree is telling me. Is if you look at it, it does look like a rattlesnake, doesn't it? But it also could be a warning sign that there are some around, too. There's true meanings and affirmations in all things. And if you're paying attention, nature speaks to you all the time. Nature teaches you all the time. But are you too busy fighting the current? Are you too busy going against the grain to really see what is happening around you? Many times y'all asking for change and here it is, somebody will leave your life. And then you start boohooing and crying. And the ancestors and your angels are like, well, we assisted that person in getting out of your life because we saw they weren't gonna treat you right. And then y'all crying about it, but you ask for the change and they're trying to give you something better, but a lot of y'all will fight it. Y'all be like, no, I committed to my past. And I'm like, really, you committed to your past to be miserable about your present? So therefore you can't truly experience your future? That's not fair. What kind of life is that? Is that truly living? And life means living in fullness every day. Are you truly living in fullness every day? And if you're not, you're really wasting your life. So I can truly see why the universe finds fit. God finds fit to smite the land. God said this will be a time of the world's biggest extinction that we've ever experienced in our lifetime. So we're gonna see a lot of people leave. But at the same time, those people were not taking care of themselves. They were trying to take themselves out. They were doing drugs on their own. If you're smoking, if you're trying to kill yourself. So the universe is like, well, let me help you. So don't be mad when you're dealing with your own personal health conditions and health trauma, but also realize that you do have the power to heal yourself. 
but it's all starting with the mind. It's all starting with your affirmations because some of y'all have been around so many negative people that you have talked illness into your body just from your negative thinking and from your negative speaking. And when you're presented something so beautiful and so magical right before your very eyes, you reject it because you're just used to being negative. And that negativity is not going to do nothing but take you out. It's, 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 it's killing you a slow death right now as I speak. But I quote the words of my father. It is written as it is stated in the word of God. I come that you might have more life and that more abundantly. But if you're going to reject it, then nothing's going to be forced upon you, especially with the God of free will. Well, y'all, that message is for someone out there. If you feel that you want me to chime in to give you a personal message from the promised land. Look in the description box below for more details on that. And I'll be more than happy to do just that. For those of you who already chimed in to receive your personal message, you should have received it by now. Except one person, I'm doing that right after this one. Other than that, the classes for the Twin Flames are coming up very soon here as well as so much more that I have to offer so many of you. I want y'all to see the beginning of this spiritual retreat. Yeah, we're dealing with the most beautiful birds and butterflies <laughs> ever. But most importantly, it's about your own transformation and the transformation of love and you and just your own power your own prestigiousness, you know. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Let no one ever tell you different. Let no one even try to block you and stop you from having happiness in your own life. And if anyone's trying to stop you, it's because they are using your energy. And if you let anyone know that you're gonna commit to going another direction, then everyone's gonna have something to say about it because they're gonna be afraid that they won't have access to immediately tag you for your energy the way they used to. And is that fair to your own true happiness is what you have to ask yourself. All right, y'all. I love you. Keep an eye out for those House of L episodes and I'll keep y'all posted and updated as much as I can. But um, it's about six o'clock in the morning. Let me go ahead and get the day started. I love y'all. And I love yourself. May the force be with each and every one of you. I am Nubian.